Hey there, it's John Siskovich. I had some questions about follow-up for my wood chip roads on farm. I'm um, doing this video to tell you what my experience has been in the past year. Teaser, I love it. And uh, what I'm doing going forward using all these free wood chips that I get from a local tree service company. So right where I'm standing and right immediately behind me right here is the old existing road that's been here for a year now. And the wood chips have started to break down just a little bit. If you dig underneath it, there's different layers of composition or decomposition. I guess the decomposition makes up the composition of the wood chip road, har har. But um, hold up really, really well. The thing is, that with the high traffic zones it looks really good requires no maintenance the wood chips hold up really well no weeds grow in it the low traffic zones there's a whole lot of weeds in it grass grew back up in the, uh, you know in between it and then just took a hold because we never traveled over it very much we didn't move the wood chips because if you move the wood chips if you think of all the edges that it would be on a wood chip they're all like little abrasive edges that would grind together and if you're traveling over that with either a tractor uh, a little ATV or walking on it, those edges would rub together and it would kill young plants. If you don't and you let it sit, the grass is going to come back and take over. So in some areas, we're going to put some more wood chips down where we have paths planned. But in the main areas, it has done really amazing things. We didn't have as much of a mud season this year as we normally do, but we did have a little bit of a mud season. We've had some really rainy days in the high traffic areas, which is part of this road behind me, no ruts, no mud, it stayed really nice, the ground stayed intact, and it went from being kind of a hill uh, where the new chips were, and it has settled down over time to where it's level, where we can mow right up to the edge of it, and there's no grass growing up, and it doesn't suck wood chips out through the mower, but that took a little time to get there. So for travel paths, really, really good. Again, I contacted a local tree service company. I've actually got them from the town here as well when they're doing tree work to free up the power lines and say, hey, I have a farm. I have a place where you can dump it. It's clearly marked, come by and dump it off. And they're like, yes, this is great. You're doing us a favor. So I'm doing them a favor. They're doing me a favor. Everybody, you know, works out for everybody. These wood chips I use uh, in my winter chicken housing. I use them on the paths here. I've inoculated some with some mushroom spores, some wine caps uh, that I'm, you know, I'll do a video if it's actually successful. But the wood chip roads, huge success, done really well. Just wanted to follow up because I got some questions. This path right here, that right here is the old one. And then right here, that's a new path actually. We made a farm tour. We're giving farm tours every Saturday now. Our brewery is open to the public. And part of that farm tour is a nice delineated walking path that now instead of having it be grass or having to put in a more official driveway, we have these nice wood chip paths for people to walk on. Uh, and it's just been, it's been great. So from a sunny, beautiful day here in June, I wish you guys all the best of luck with your farming adventures. Hope you guys are having fun following along. Thanks for taking the time to comment in. It's been crazy this season. I'll, fall, I'll fill you in in future videos, but it's been pretty cool. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. <laughs>